let's learn what is gallery block in the Gutenberg editor and how to use it so the how to add it basically you need to either click on this add block button and that opens up this inserter search for the gallery block and then click it it, sh it gives you this uh, block which allows you to up either upload the images from your local folder or you can select images from the media library so you can simply select multiple images and click on create gallery and insert it so it gives you this nice little gallery so another way to add a gallery block is by writing a forward slash in the empty paragraph at the bottom and keep writing gallery so until you see this gallery block you need to click on this and it gives you the same block uh, placeholder where you can select the images from from the library or upload images from your local folder and insert the gallery easy but there is one more way you can easily create a gallery from a local folder of images so suppose you have some images in in your local folder for which you want to create gallery you don't need to add a gallery block first and then adding the images from the Gutenberg or, or from your local folder you simply select your images and drag them all together in the Gutenberg editor it gives you this little nice uh, indicator line drop the images where you want to create a gallery so if I drop it it gives me indication that these images are being uploaded as soon each one is uploaded it removes this opacity and indi uploading indicator so these images are being uploaded to my media library and at the same time creating a gallery in on your page so this is nice each one of these image has been uploaded to your wordpress media library easy so these are few ways you can add a gallery block or create a gallery in the Gutenberg WordPress editor. Now let's see what options or controls we have for the gallery block. As you know, each gallery block uh, or each Gutenberg block basically has some options in the top toolbar and some options in the right sidebar of the Gutenberg editor. And but the gallery block also has some options or controls for individual image as you can see. So let's explore first the toolbar. So the toolbar as usual allows you uh, the first two controls are standard for all the Gutenberg blocks. The one first one is the transform to option, a transforming option which uh, shows you what blocks you can transform or convert this gallery block to another block type in Gutenberg. So the only uh, option I can see useful is the image. So if I click on this all these three uh, images in the gallery block will be converted to uh, or transformed to individual image blocks so let's see just click on this and that's it as you can see one two and three all these three images are converted to the individual image block now suppose you you want to convert them back to uh, a gallery block so you can actually multi select all these three blocks and then go to this and transform to a gallery now they are converted back or transformed back to a gallery block so this is what transformation option in Gutenberg does the next option is the mover blocks which allows you to move the block up and down like this uh, you might not notice this let me Okay, now you can okay so we are moving down the block and similarly we can drag a block like this to any position we want to move it the next option we have uh, in the toolbar is the alignment option which is, which lets you align this gallery to left center right and then we see these two options which is a wide width or a full width but make sure that these options are dependent on the theme you are using it 
if you don't see this option these options it means your theme does not support it you need to talk to your theme author for that that's it these are the options we have in the top toolbar for the gallery block now let's see what options we have uh, on, on the individual image uh, for each gallery so as you can see when i click on a particular image it gives me two options basically on the top and on the bottom it allows me to write a caption to this particular image so i can simply write my caption my caption here and format it or link it to anywhere and apply some more formatting all these options are explained in the paragraph blog video so this is this is so easy to write a cup to individual image in Gutenberg in a gallery block now suppose if I need to rearrange the gallery images so to rearrange the gallery images you simply can click on this mover icons which makes you uh, arrange the image particular image to any position you want so you can do this easily like this in Gutenberg gallery block you don't need to edit the gallery and then rearrange it from the media library inserter like it was previously possible with the classic editor additionally I have these two controls for each individual image in the gallery I can either edit the image or I can simply delete it so this way I can delete or edit an image to another image if I click on edit you see this give me this option to upload a new image from the local folder or from the media library select an image from the media library so let's select a different image here for example just for demo select this one so these are the two images now in this particular gallery I have now if I need to if I need to add a new image to the same gallery I have this little control at the bottom which allows me to upload more uh, images from the media library or from the folder so I can simply click on this and select more images and they will be added to the same gallery I am currently editing as you can see these are four there are four images now in this particular gallery now let's see what options we have in the sidebar for the gallery blocks so we have two panels one is the standard one for which is available for all the Gutenberg blocks which is the advanced panel you can either anchor link this section or you can assign a custom CSS class to the gallery block the next option is what re is really important which is the gallery setting panel which allows you to first uh, adjust number of columns so it is currently set to three uh, as you can see the three all image there are four images in the gallery so it sets the first three in three columns and uh, then the remaining last one as a full width so if I adjust it to for example 4 now it adjusts all these four images into a single row which are which is divided into the four columns so this way you can adjust the number of columns of of the gallery to make it look like the way you want another option is also very useful which allows you to crop the images to equal height basically so if I set this uh, I'll show you this to another example basically these are ima these those images are well adjusted to particular height or maybe I show you if I show you like this so if I click on this if I click on this one second one second please one second okay so make sure what gallery you are editing editing I'm currently editing this one so if I make it four column and adjust the re remove the crop option so as you can see what it does it basically uh, if enabled uh, nicely crop or adjust the image height to 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 be equal height so it, the gallery looks nice for example if I'm on the three column now it has uh, the gallery like this if I disable this option these uh, images are ad reverted back to their actual uh, aspect ratio uh, rather than looking nice uh, 
as an equal height so make sure this is really nice feature to to be enabled for me other options we have uh, is the option to select for link to so uh, if you want to link these images to it their media file or attachment you can select this option from here from here and each image will be linked to to its individual file or attachment page by default the none option is selected similarly like the image blog we have the option to choose uh, the image size this is really useful for for these image intensive blogs so suppose if i have this four column gallery so this is not worth uh, keeping the image size too large because it is serving me the large dimension uh, images for each all these four images which is um, which would impact my page performance so I can make it to medium so this will serve me a less sized image or you can say a little optimized image so make sure you choose the better option for your uh, use case here so these are the options available for the gallery settings in the sidebar and I hope I've covered everything for the gallery block so that's it for this thank you